Hello everyone, my name is Joyce and I teach art. I will be showing you how I use Keynote animations to create digital art. If you have an iPad and an Apple Pencil or a stylus, come and join me as I take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating animations on Keynote. Okay, let's start by looking for Keynote. I normally search for the app even if it's right here, um, I'm the type of person that likes to search. So we want to start a new project. And let's just choose any presentation size. You can edit the size of the presentation by clicking on the red dots and then going down to document setup. And over here on this side, slide size, we can choose and I normally like working with a square size. Now I'm going to put a picture right behind. So that's the picture that I will use um, as a background. So I have a picture over here. I'm going to use this and I'm going to make the character animate from walking into the scene and then jumping over. Okay, I just want to make a disclaimer. I'm not a very good artist. And because of that, I will be using the help of Google. So before we enter and bring in the pictures that we want to trace, I'm going to make sure that I lock this. So I'll go here and I'll go to image, arrange, I'll go to and lock. Okay, good. All right. Um, before I start drawing, like I said, I'm going to be bringing in an image that I will use as a guide. So I found this on Google. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to just open it up to the size that I want. And as you can see, you can't see the background. You can't see the background. So we want to make sure um, that this picture is transparent. So select it so the blue dots let me know that it's selected and click on the paintbrush and then go to style and drop down the opacity now you can see the background so all i need is just to see it as a guide okay you have to work between um uh you're using your fingers and the pen because every time you tap on the screen it brings up the drawing tool so I have to make sure that when I want to move stuff around, I don't use, I don't tap with the pen, but I tap with my finger instead like that, okay? So let's go ahead and set our character here. So maybe he, he should start walking in like this. Okay, like this. Okay, right, great. Now I'm gonna just increase the size and, oops, and make sure that I draw him in place. Okay. Um, all right, so you can actually zoom out to this small or zoom in there. It can be a little bit difficult to draw on the very side, so I, I make sure that I just move him to the portion that I need him to be. So it's helpful that you don't make it, you don't zoom in too much. Okay, now let's start to draw. And for this, I'm going to be using the crayon tool. I'll just make things very, very simple. I'm not going to be using the pen. I'm not much a fan of the pen. I like how I like the texture of the crayon. And things will just be simple again today. I'm not a great artist. I try, um, but I'll be using just black and I'll be tracing down the character as you can see right here. All right, now I want to fill the color in. So this is one of the tools I like to use. And let's say the character, I'm going to make him um, pink. Maybe let's just make him blue, like a smurf. Right. So you can either tap, but of course when you tap, you're going to miss out on some parts. Um, and so you can just um, highlight the areas that you want, draw over the areas that you want. Like that. Great. Okay, now, so that's our first image. We'll take a look at the slide and we'll see an overview. So he's gonna show up right here. I want him to walk forward. How do we double it up? In a lot of animation applications, you can just simply double double this and you know um, duplicate it really quickly. Here, what we do is we tap it, we copy, and then tap it again. 
Okay, and then paste. So we have the second one here. This is what we edit, so we make sure that's okay. So I'm not gonna erase what I have. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to make sure that the actions are gonna move. So he's walking, then he steps. I'm aligning his feet, so he walks, okay? And then I'm gonna pull up the drawing tools and I'm gonna erase. So this is where it gets a little <laughs> taxing, but animation is normally very taxing. Students love it though. You wanna make sure you go over, you can see the action, right? As you can see, he's, he's actually moving quite smoothly, but later on when there's more, it'll look even better. So let's let's take a let's review just the action there you go so he's walking all right so he gets to the edge and now I want him to be able to jump so I'm not sure okay okay so he won't be able to reach the top um, I'll show you I'm, I'm gonna jump out and show you what my student created so she drew something similar but she drew a ninja so this was her animation I'm just gonna go over it see there's the ninja right here. And he's going to pop out, right? So, so I like how she was able to stretch the image and that's um, an animation technique is stretching. When there's movement, you stretch it and it stretches and lands. For now, we're gonna follow her style and just make this character jump out and stretch. So I will want to redraw him and make it look like he's stretching. Then I'm going to make it stretchy by just taking this out and moving that here and just adding to make him look like he's stretched or like there's momentum. Will this work? I'm not sure, we'll see. Cause like I said, I'm not a very talented animation artist. Um, but I try, I think that's important. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like he's, yay. So let's do one more of that. And let's just bring him higher. Okay, great. So I'm gonna move him higher and it looks like, yes. Okay, so his head eventually, maybe a little bit higher like that. So when he lands, as we can see, he would land losing a little balance, okay. Okay, are we almost there? Almost, almost there. All right, now, just to be able to see how it all works, you can just quickly see this by tapping on each slide and checking Oops. to see if it works. We're not able to, see, we're not able to do that. In other animation applications, you're able to just run your hand through it. Um, not here, but that's fine. What's the next thing to do? So we wanna make sure we get rid of our guides. So we have to go onto every slide and just delete them. All right, the next thing to do is to export the file. So one thing to remember is the numbering. Well, we're, since we're using everything, that would be easier. So let's go ahead and export, tap on to the three dots, click on export. You want to make sure to go to animated GIF and then we're gonna have to change the slide range. So by default, the slide range is only from um, one or whatever is highlighted in blue. Okay, 24 FPS, that's perfect. And you can change it. So if you want the whole animations to run, to run for a full second, you can just do that. Or you could figure out how long it plays over. So maybe 15 seconds or 18, don't worry. You can keep doing this without having to export too many things. So 
when we click on export, that doesn't automatically save. That just gives us an, a view. There you go. Let's take a look at it. So do we, is that good enough or is it too slow for us? All right. Maybe a little too slow for us, yeah? Okay. Again, four seconds. Let's try to see if we can do seven seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, take a look at that. Okay, so what happens now? When we share it, it goes to save image and it goes to our photo library. So let's go out. So here, we get to see it over here. And so it, it's gonna play over and over and over. So if that's too slow for you, you can go ahead and export again and again. So it only saves to your library after you click save. If you're just exporting and you don't click save, that does not save it at all. It just creates it. So you have to share and you need to click on save. Because if you cancel, then it's not there. Okay, so that's how you animate with Keynote. Let's just say we want to use the same animation and we're going to incorporate that. Instead of the background, we'll let him jump from live objects with a video at the back. Okay. I'm going to duplicate this project just so that I keep the original one. And if I make a mistake, I can go back. And I'm going to um, delete the background of every slide. Okay, so we're done. Everything is now white. There's no background, so he's flying in air. Okay, but that's not over yet. Because we want to integrate it into a video, we will use the green screen effect. We'll have to change every slide's background color to green. And we can do it really quickly. And I'll show you how. So you have to highlight everything. Yeah, just hold one and then tap on each slide. Then come here to the paintbrush and change the background color to green. We want to change it to green. So it automatically changes everything to green. All right, great. Okay, so I'm going to export this again. So I'm going to share this and paste this. Great. So earlier I shot a video of myself and this video is just me sipping coffee. But the concept of this video is for the character to jump from one area to another. We're going to be doing and mixing this on iMovie, but right before getting there, we want to make sure that you place him in the right area. Okay, how? So we're gonna bring that footage into Keynote okay. and then stretch the footage. And then we will be bringing in the animation. Okay, as you can see here, that's the guy. Okay. Again, we can work with the opacity level just so that we can see through it. Okay, we go back and we make sure the opacity is full and we delete the video at the back. Okay, and then this is gonna show up. So we have to make sure as well that the background is green. Um, and I'm going to have to click the dropper just so that it matches export as a movie just the first the first slide okay. 720p is fine but look at your options you have 1080p and 2160p if you're working on a pro but then for regular ipads you can go up to 1080p if i'm not mistaken still really really awesome so unlike when you export animated gif the slide range for movie is all, so you want to make sure that you only do one. Okay. Again, share and save video. You can also export this video first. It makes it so much easier because it's already put in place. Now, we are going to jump into iMovie. And we're gonna start a new movie. We are going to put in our base video first. 
select it and create movie okay time for us to put the green screen up okay pull that up over here so as you can see this is has no play or has no um movie icon because that's a gif this has the movie icon that means it's a movie or it's say like an mp4 instead of clicking plus it would if you click on plus it inserts in between or where it can that's not what we want to do we want to first delete this definitely and then move it to a spot where you want to put it in you can just put it in the front tap it again go to the three dots and click on green and blue screen okay so the point of this is he jumps Um, jumps in and then lands on my mug and then he steps in yeah and he just stays there and I want him to freeze from here on and then just freeze that way all the way to the end okay let's export that we can export it depending on what kind of size you want to export so let's go for HD 720p Let's take a look at the projects we did today. First is the animation GIF. Then the second project was taking a video and adding the animation on top of the video, which is this. I hope you all enjoyed today's session. God bless you all and have a great day.